Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a Crystal Collection wig review. So I followed Crystal's collection on Instagram for a while and I've seen a couple of the people that I follow buy from Crystal Collection. So I was intrigued myself and I went ahead and purchased another human hair wig. <laughs> Even though I said I was kind of sticking with synthetics for a while, um, I usually do tend to go back to human hair. So I ordered this wig from Crystal's collection and I'm just gonna do a quick rundown for you guys today in case you are also considering buying from this brand. So the wig that I ordered is called Lily and I will pop up a picture of what the wig looks like on the website. I got this wig in a cap size 20 to 21 inches, which is obviously a cap size small. The length that I got was 24 inches, and this wig is described as dark chocolate brown with a golden caramel balayage, HD transparent lace, a plucked hairline and bleached knot, um, and the density is 180%. This wig cost £565. I'm pretty sure that I got a 5% discount code from Instagram, so it brought it down slightly. I think I ended up paying £536, which isn't too bad for the prices of human hair at the moment. Um, I'm sure if you are a wig wearer, you will know the prices are just insane right now. So I ordered this wig on the 2nd of July and it got delivered on the 13th of August, so about a month and oh, just over a week for this wig to be delivered, which isn't too bad, but obviously if you want a wig that is ready to ship, this probably isn't the best option for you. It did take um, quite a bit of time. So I'm going to show you guys the wig, fresh out of the box, and then obviously on my head. <laughs> so the wig came in a box, which is always nice um, to keep it secure. And inside it came packed really nicely with like tissue paper and everything in plastic and also in the net. You also obviously get the little thank you card and the wig. <laughs> so I'm not sure if I mentioned initially, but this is a lace front wig. This is not a full lace wig. So usually when I buy human hair wigs, the price is for a full lace wig. So um, for example, I did a review a couple of months ago of a full lace human hair wig that was 610. This isn't full lace. So you have got like the tracks in the back, which is probably worth in. I will give you guys a little view of the cap construction on the bed but I will say for the fact that it has tracks in the back you'd have to kind of like really part the hair to be able to see them. So this is the wig cap construction. Obviously I've cut the lace at this point, sorry I forgot to <laughs> film it before but the lace is obviously transparent, you've got the tracks in the back, the adjustable straps and you've also got the combs and one in the back there. Um, the lace came like this, I didn't do that to it, and yeah, like I said, I did ask for a strap, but I don't know whether maybe this is the strap, or if there's just not one on there. The parting is bleached in the front. So this hair feels like it has some like sort of treatment on it, I will say that straight away. The hair feels kind of like after you've like conditioned it, um... And it feels like it's got product on it that's kind of how i would describe how it feels it kind of fades into like a lighter at the bottom okay so the first thing i'm going to say about this wig is for a petite cap it is big um this is on like the tightest right now of the adjustable straps and there's still quite a lot of room like in the back it's not sitting like tight to my head so i'll just come move back and show you guys the length of the wig because it is very long. <laughs> I'm wearing a dress but also jogging bottoms, I don't know why. So it's come into like belly button height on me and even though I am quite small that is still like really long. So the first thing I will say is I absolutely adore the colour of it. This is like the colour that I always typically go for in wigs. If you know me you will know I've probably had the same wig colour for like seven years now something ridiculous so probably an observation that might be worth noting this hair is a lot thicker from like here to here than it is down to the bottoms 
and also like I said because this has got product in it it feels a little bit more heavy so when I'm doing like this do you get what I mean it hasn't got like that flow to it so I'm probably gonna wash this wig another note to make is there's lots of like little hairs on the top which is probably why it's so much thicker at the top than on the bottoms um, like the ends are quite thin so I'm gonna end up cutting this I always buy wigs a little bit too long so that if this happens where it's a bit thinner on the ends I can just kind of cut them off and I've still got like a decent length I'll show you guys kind of like what the hairline looks like as well like this section here looks really good so like I said my next step is going to be washing this wig but I am going to quickly cut the lace off just so you guys can see as well and I sometimes feel like when you cut the lace off it feels like a different fit to your head so you kind of get a better representation of whether it's like too big or not even though I know this is like too big for me <laughs> I'm probably going to end up tying the little like adjustable straps at the back tying them and then I'll just have to kind of deal with the like I guess it kind of like bulks up a little bit at the back so this is the wig when the lace has obviously been cut I'm really impressed with the parting I think it looks great it just literally looks like a straight parting and I actually really quite like the blonde kind of bits going through this there's like a little piece in the front as well I'm not sure if you guys can kind of see that on camera the color is super natural so again like really really good um, I am gonna kind of like wash this wig and see how I feel about it after it's been washed because at the moment with whatever product is in this wig it's kind of just causing it to like I can't describe it but you know like usually when you go like this with hair and like it would <laughs> instead it's kind of like sticking I can't really describe that but I'm assuming that if I wash this and kind of put my own product in it it will go back to kind of being like more product free I guess I don't know we'll see how it goes <laughs> But yeah, this is the wig. If you guys have any questions about it or if you want to know more about my experience kind of like buying human hair wigs and what I tend to like look for in a good quality wig, please just like ask the question because I'll always answer. It just takes me a couple of days sometimes but I promise I will answer. But yeah, also let me know what you guys obviously think of this wig if you are like looking to buy a human hair wig have you considered crystals collection and yeah i will see you guys on the next video bye